It was 1935, the year that Elvis and Sandy Koufax were born. It was a year of many firsts, including the first NFL draft, the first Monopoly board game went on sale, Social Security began, and Babe Ruth hit his last home run. In addition to these milestones, the National Junior Challenge Cup was founded in 1935 offering a youth competition for young men in the United States. The cup was later named the James P. McGuire Cup after the late U.S. soccer president, who himself was quite a standout in his earlier days, winning the U.S. Open Cup in 1929. McGuire would lead U.S. soccer and earn an international reputation as an excellent leader. The Fermi Quiet Cup was started in 1935. It was the only cup that the United States Soccer Federation had for youth players. And uh, it was uh, uh, a very good competition. And uh, I, I can tell you, I mean, this was the highlight of my soccer career to be a champion in 1954. This storied cup, now the oldest trophy in youth sport. It has a history, it has a meaning, I think it has tradition. So I think it's extremely important for our competitions, uh, for all the age groups that kind of emulate the Maguire Cup. Winning the Maguire Cup is huge, uh, just because all that history that comes along with the oldest uh, trophy in, in youth sports period, um, that's really big for us. Who will write their name in the next chapter of the story McGuire Cup. Welcome to Frisco, Texas and the Toyota Soccer Center for the U.S. Youth Soccer National Championships as we're coming to you live at the U15 level for this match between Beedling and PTFC or Piedmont Triad FC to give their full name. Contrasting fortunes for these two teams coming into match day two for Beedling. It was a 4-1 to one win over FC United. Well, PTFC lost 5 to nothing to Las Vegas. So Beedling will be in their all red jerseys with white trim, white numbering, and PTFC black as their full name is, are in all black with gray trim and white numbers. So it'll be Beedling to kick off and they're attacking to your left. Well, it's an all East Coast battle here between Beedling and PTFC. PTFC, the Southern champions taking on Beedling who came in through the National League as they finished National League Red Runner-Up. 
It's all about setting yourself up with a chance to go through on match day three. So three points at a premium here, especially for this PTFC side who are looking to get off the bottom of the table. Well, three more points for Beedling would set them up very well for tomorrow's final match. The second day can make or break you. So let's see what happens over these 80 minutes. It's a check of the watch from the referee. Ethan Sanders is over the ball, ready to get us underway. The referee just looking over at his fourth official. One more check of the watch. And we are underway on match day two. Beedling pumped the ball forward early on. Bruno Bernal battling on the far side, but Beedling able to keep possession. And this one back by Britt. Britt for PTFC. Fonegi muscles him off the ball, unfairly says the referee. So it'll be a free kick for PTFC. Good job to come over and cover and head that away. And so it'll be a throw in for Piedmont Triad. Be taken on the far side. Looking to create some space and get a cross in, but they run out of real estate. one coming toward Coles, but it's swept away from him. Play back inside. That's a good job to step up and win the ball back, but it's won by Rivera. This is O'Hara, he gets it into the danger area. Coles spinning back with it. This is off of PTFC last, so it'll be a throw in for Beedling. Throwing to be taken by Stetz. Looking for the flick on was Irvin. And one back by Irvin. Fonegi, little touch on. This is Eldridge, witnessing space on the far side, and he's gonna take it. Has four players to find in the box, Eldridge. Instead, he'll get it back. And Eldridge, unable to get away on the far side. They're still going, it's a good job to keep possession for Beedling under heavy pressure, but eventually it wins out, and it's PTFC to go the other way. This is Rivera, he'll spin and try and get it forward. And a good job to come over and cover from Zachary Panza and get it away. And quickly Beedling go on the attack. Irvin chasing and he'll be whistled for the foul. It's good hustle though from Jackson Irvin for Beedling. The free kick driven forward. They're finding the forward lines very quickly, both of these teams, a bit more of a direct style. And Getsy will punt. O'Hara wins the header, but he'll be called for a foul. So it'll be a free kick for DeFalco. It's Irvin ahead of him. Sanders was asking for it short. And now Sanders been told by DeFalco to get up at the top of the box. And so Anthony DeFalco to play this one into the mix. Oh, it's a great ball driven in. Perfectly placed, just looking for header back across goal. They get it. O'Hara gets a block. 
Next shot comes in and it's good goalkeeping at the near post. Now they're gonna say it didn't hit off of him, so it's just gonna be a corner kick. Felt that Yael Guzman Valiente did very well to have his near post covered, so it's a goal kick, beg your pardon. So Guzman Valiente will take this goal kick. Eldridge, Sanders. Oh, that's a good ball slid inside, but it's wrestled away by Diaz. Stets, dispossessed Sanders trying to get it back. That's PTFC to go the other way. It's a great ball slid through to the far side. This is Bruno Bernal, and a great save from Getz, but the shot is over on the rebound. That was a great job by Getsy to come out, make himself as big as possible, deny the first opportunity. He did give up the rebound, but it was blazed over by Robbins. Good end-to-end -end action here in the early going between Beedling in the red and PTFC in all black. Intercepted by Coles. Going the other way through Eldridge. Irvin checks in the middle. He's able to get it back to Sanders. I love that triangle. Sanders, Irvin, and Eldridge have set up in the midfield. It was open up for them to get the ball going forward up top, but instead it's intercepted. And PTFC looking direct again with Coles getting for it. Coles able to get around the defender. He puts it back. And smash clear. And DeFalco. And they're saying that he came back from an offside position, Fonegi. A good job to come back by Fonegi and win that ball and try and play into Falco. But he did come back from an offside position. So it'll be a free kick for Diaz. Who we'll play it to the top of the box? That's a strong win on the far side. Douglas stepping in. This is Britt. A heavy sliding challenge. He got all ball. The studs were showing though. And now the shot plays in and gets, he gets down quickly. And now the ref should stop play to check on the player as it's Britt who's down. And even before the whistle went, gets, he sportingly cleared it out of bounds. Uh, the whistle had gone before the ball went out of bounds. So I think gets, will get it back. That uh, was a very heavy challenge. The chance for both players to get water early on. So this game has been played at a frenetic piece on what's already starting to be a hot day as it is expected here in Frisco, Texas. Only 9.07 a.m. and the weather already at 86 degrees. So hoping that Caleb Britt is okay as we have a stoppage of play in the ninth minute. Both teams coming back to their benches. Nil-nil through these first nine plus minutes. Or eight plus minutes, I should say. And it's good to see Caleb Britt getting up to his feet.
So Getsy will get the drop balls. We're back underway. He's already made one good save today. Getsy two actually. One on a breakaway, the second on a shot from just outside the box. It's this long ball looking for Fenegi. Able to track it down for Beedling. It's wrestled away and it's cleared out by Hernandez Mortimore. Sanders. It's a good run from Irvin. Able to get it out wide. Now the foot race is on. Coles is flying into the box if they can find him. Player goes down, no foul, says the referee. Eldridge. A lovely one touch passing to release it on the far side for Hernandez Mortimer. He's not gonna catch up to it in time. And it'll be a throw in for Mahar. Douglas. Sanders does good job to turn Rivera. Gets it inside to Irvin, back to Sanders. Over to the near side for Stetz. That's good possession being kept by Beedling. And it's Stetz again. He's watched by Coles. That's good pressure from Coles to win it back. And the ball looking over the top for Coles. Out of bounds from Connor Spisak. That's his throw and sent the other way. Heavy challenge. Rivera picks it up. Trying to turn and he'll win the free kick. Good work by Rivera. Had Roberts make it a run off of him, Rivera. And it's good to see that Caleb Britt is back out there doing all right. It's Britt and Rivera standing over this free kick. Chance to tease the ball into the mix in the 14th minute. It's a two man wall for Getze in the Beedling goal. It's Rivera and Britt who are over it. And now Robbins is over it as Britt leaves. It is Robbins, tried to drive it under the wall, who got a piece of it, and it's smacked clear. Guzman Valiente will get it out wide. Sanders gets it out wide. Fabian, Irvin. Stats assessing his options. Lex to take the inside route. This is DeFalco. Waiting for the overlap. Sends in the early service. Oh, what a goal that would have been. Beautiful cross from DeFalco. And it was the right idea to redirect it, just not on frame. Otherwise, that would have been one nothing. But a brilliant attack from Beedling.
Irvin. Mahar getting forward. Fabian with a little touch out wide. And it's opened up the space. There's two waiting in the middle. It's played across and cleared away. Robbins is chasing. It does well to win it and keep it in bounds. As heavy pressure from Panza, but he's whistled for the foul. And so it'll be a free kick for PTFC. The Southern Region champions get it to Coles. Went back by Stetz. Coles takes it off his foot, and Stetz's challenge was late. So it'll be a free kick for Coles. It's Rivera who's over it once again. This time it is Britt who's with him. It's a three-man wall with Robbins running interference. And this one over Getsy's goal, so it'll be a goal kick for Beedling. Seventeen minutes played here at the US Youth Soccer National Championships. 0-0 zero, zero between PTFC and Beadling. Match day two here at the under 15 level. Uh, it's a good run by Douglas chasing, but coming out to the extreme of his penalty area is Guzman Valiente, and it was good distribution as well to quickly roll it, and up the far side they come, PTFC. Have players pouring forward. Uh, it's a lovely reverse ball. It's opened things up for it to be crossed back. And it was well defended as getting back was Zachary Panza. So first corner kick of the game, as PTFC is the in-swinger, and Getsy has his near post covered well. Quick distribution, was looking for the run of Douglas, but it goes out of bounds, and it will be a throw in on the far side for PTFC. Robbins able to spin Panza, gets into the box, puts it in, and a good job to come over and make the clearance. But it will be the second corner kick of the game for PTFC. It'll be Bruno Bernal to take this corner kick. Be another in swinger. First one was too close to the keeper at his near post. Always have to beat that first defender. This is a much better ball to the back post. Robbins trying to get ahead on it. It did well to get something on it. Was trying to put it back across goal. In the end, popped it up in the air and gets the elects for the quick distribution. Stets looking over the top for the run of Anthony DeFalco, whose brother Tom is in the crowd watching today. So thrown for O'Hara. Coles is chasing. A tremendous job to shield that out of bounds by Mason Fabian. Now we're gonna have
have a hydration break. So we enter into the 21st minute of play. Nil-nil at the hydration break midway through this first half here on match day two at the U.S. Youth Soccer National Championships. This one coming to you at the U15 level. And both sides will get a chance not only to get some water and cool themselves down, but also get some instruction from their coaches. Back with you here in Frisco from the hydration break at the Toyota Soccer Center. We're coming to you from Field 4, known as Rab Field. We have our first change of the game as well. This coming off is going to be Britt. So PTFC flicked the switch on the first substitution of the afternoon. Is coming into the game is Cesar Mendoza Ortiz. Gets his goal kick. Header one by Elkridge. Looks like he took an elbow, and a yellow card is going to come out. So Connor Spisak becomes the first player to go into the referee's book. Elkridge looks to be all right. So Stets will take the free kick. Elkridge got his head on it, put it in the wrong direction. And the break can be on for PTFC. Rivera, Irvin flying back to get the tackle in. That's how you stop a counter attack. And then the run not made, so it will roll out for a goal kick. A great hustle by Irvin to get back. Flicked on by Elkridge. Douglas is chasing, but this one will come all the way back to Guzman Valiente. Bruno Bernal unable to turn his opposite number. Mahar thought he should have had a free kick. Stets is over to clear. That's a good ball, looking for Dimitri Coles, not gonna catch up to it in time. And so it'll be another goal kick for AJ Getze. And now, Two changes to be made for Beedling. As Mahar comes off as well as Douglas, I believe. Oh. 
And that will send Anthony DeFalco to the other side. And Chase Thomas is on as this puts over. This is Stetz over the top looking for the run of Thomas. Lifted out by Diaz. Cole's unable to turn. Irvin. Stetz. Fabian looking for options. Irvin. Stetz. Uh, it's a lovely touchdown. Irvin. Has Thomas to his left, uses him. Irvin now on the overlap, but allows Thomas to come inside. And this one off of Irvin last. The speed sock will leave this throw off. O'Hara with the throw in. It's a long throw looking for Robbins. Robbins unable to get around Fabian. Good defending from the center back. He's also doing a very good job of playing the right passes, Fabian. And it's forward for Thomas. Back into the setup for Sanders. Fonegi. Gorgeous ball to the far side for DeFalco. Unable to lift it over his defender. Rivera helps it on, looking for Robbins. Step in front of him. Rivera does a good job to use the referee as a screen and get it back. Panza with the clearance. O'Hara. That's uh, well stepped in by Sanders. A great job to get back by Rivera. As O'Hara did a good job to cut out that ball to the outside. Oh, this one falls kindly for Robbins. One touch to settle, needed to get that shot off. Second touch and it allows the massive red jerseys to crowd around him and win the ball back. Thomas, unable to get by O'Hara. Try to slide it back to his keeper. It's a late ball, keeper hesitates, Fonegi gets there, goes down under the challenge. A Guzman Valiente doing just enough, and now it's O'Hara flying up the near side. Thomas trying to get back on him. O'Hara slides it in. Gets the return ball in the box, he goes down, and the referee says it was a fair challenge from Stetz. And this will be a foul. Ortiz was the guilty party. Thomas, Sanders, Fonegi playing as the target man, unable to spin Diaz who gets it to safety. Into the 30th minute of play, still nil-nil between Beedling and PTFC. Irvin. Has Thomas in support, but instead Ortiz comes in to win it. Coles helps it on, and stepping in is Fabian, who reads the game so well and knows when to anticipate. Thomas puts it across. It's opened up, and it's flashed over the bar. Unlucky from Anthony DeFalco, who did very well to check into the center from his right forward position. It's a good ball put across from Chase Thomas. DeFalco just unable to keep his effort down, and it remains nil-nil on the half-hour mark here in Frisco, Texas. The beautiful Toyota Soccer Center with FC Dallas's Toyota Stadium just to our left. Fabian. Sanders inside for Fenegi. Did well to control it. Into the gap for Thomas. Picks his head up, puts it across, but the offside flag is up. Inside the final 10 minutes of the first half, 
plus whatever stoppage time will be added on. Still 0-0 despite chances at both ends. Guzman Valiente has seen a couple efforts flash just wider over his goal. El Getzi in the Beedling goal has gotten down well on a couple of occasions. And a substitution being made as Coles will come out. So PTFC getting a fresh player out on the field. Evan Pask who joins us. Pask chasing this ball. Headed away by Panza. A space to roam on the far side. Forward for Fenegis behind the back line and the offside flag goes up. Over the top for Evans to chase. Evan Pass can't get there before Ketsy. Ketsy with a booming punt into midfield. Ah, flying down the far side. This is a good run. It's a great run, it's pulled back. And Bruno Bernal did so well to win the corner kick. Beg your pardon, that was Steven Hernandez Mortimore. Great run from Hernandez Mortimore to win the corner kick. Third of the game for PTFC, and all of them have been taken on the far side. Oh, this is a good ball right onto the penalty spot. It gets ahead. Panza put it right back into the danger area. And it's bouncing around, and it's the opening goal for PTFC, and it's the center back Diaz who scores it. Alvaro Diaz, Mayoro Coy. That is why center backs get forward on set pieces, and it's the North Carolina side who have their noses in front. Goal coming in the 34th minute. And it's PTFC who have the one nothing lead over Beadley. Sanders. Looking for the run of Fenegi. He's stolen in between the center backs. Fenegi fires just wide. This will be another goal kick for Guzman Valiente. Oh, how set pieces changes things. One by Elkridge. Fonegi has it poked away from him. This is Bruno Bernal steaming forward. Robin's unable to bring it under control and it's swept clear by Fabian. One back by Fenegi, and then coming back to win it. And this is Pask. Rivera. Rivera wants it back. Fabian gets back. Rivera picks his pocket, picks his head up, puts it back in the danger area, and gets, he gets across his line well to deny the header point blank. That should have been 2-0. AJ gets he to the rescue once again for Beedling. And stepping inside, and that will be a free kick. This 
Steven Hernandez, Morty Morty, the guilty party. Stets is getting forward from his outside back position. It's a good ball for Nagy! We're level! Textbook downward header from Fanegi, and it's 1-1 in the 37th minute. The teams have traded goals from set pieces, and it's game on once again in Frisco. If Finegi scores a goal and his reward, he's going to get some water. Sees one of two subs coming off. That is a perfectly placed downward header from Joseph Finegi. Can't draw it up any better than that. The free kick in was perfectly placed. And Finegi placed his header quite well. Pinpoint precision. And perfect power on the header from Joseph Finegi. And it's 1-1 heading into the final few minutes of this first half. Spisak. Robbins shows his strength to keep possession. Rivera slipped, but somehow able to keep the ball. Very impressive with Rivera when he's on the ball. Oh, and look at that. Spisak stabbing it out wide. Now gets in the center, looking to get on the end of the cross. Pask is getting there, but Stets will shepherd this one out of bounds for the goal kick. Pesk, stolen by Sanders. Flying forward, has three ahead of him, was unable to smuggle it through. Uh, it still might work out. And good hold up play to get it back to Elkridge. Chase Thomas. Swung in by Stetz. It's a good ball to Falco waiting for it on the far side. Still going to Falco, trying to bulldoze his way through but flying in to make the clearance was Luke Swift. And now we'll have another substitution. So it's Chase Thomas who's coming off. So Thomas will get a rest. As we're right on the verge of halftime, a minute away from the stoppage time being added by the fourth official, as directed by the center referee. And this will be the first corner kick of the game for Beedling. Can they get the go ahead goal before halftime? Fabian's up from the back for this corner kick. It's over the head of Panza. It's a Falco to hit it first time. And it wasn't a bad effort. In the end, wise of Guzman Valiente's goal. As we are now in the first half stoppage time. A 
That was a great effort, but unable to keep it in. So thrown for O'Hara. Paskey's coming in. Played well over him. Robbins. Spisak. Rivera. Good disguise passed out to the far side. Bruno Bernal not allowed to shoot. Spisak able to get it out wide. Flag stays down. This is Hernandez Mortimore. Still going Hernandez Mortimore. Flicks it into the box and headed clear. Ortiz dispossessed. And the great could be on for Beedling if they can hurry. PTFC doing a good job to get numbers back behind the ball. And they will win out. When it's cleared down, it will roll out for a throw in. And Pustover will come to take this one. That ball went out about five or 10 yards behind, but he'll take it there so he can play it quickly and they can work it out of the back. Long ball looking over the top. Marmol unable to get to it. Stets. Forward for Cyrus Connie. Connie steps in one. Gets it back. Stets' ball picked off by Rivera. Over to the far side. And the shot charged down. The deflection taking the sting out of it. And it's easy pickings for Getze. Quickly rolls it out. Good distribution from A.J. Getze. Been impressed with that in the first half from the keeper for Beedling. So over two minutes have elapsed in stoppage time, according to my watch. One back by Spisak, who's on a yellow card. Inside for Ortiz. Ortiz flying forward. Oh, lovely back heel into the path of Robbins. Robbins. Squares off to Pustover. And the foul will be called against Panza. Well, they scored on a set piece earlier. PTFC, can they repeat the trick this time around? Diaz is up from the back again. It's played in, and climbing the ladder to get that clear was a beetling defender. Rivera spinning at the top of the box. And coming away with it is Marmol, but that will be the last action of the first half. Exciting first 40 minutes finishes 1-1 between PTFC and Beedling. We're gonna take a break up here in the booth. We'll be back with you for the second half at the U.S. Youth Soccer National Championships.
forget last year. It's gone. Ancient history. It's time to forget about failure. And how you came up short. How you missed the mark. Yeah, it's time to forget about the man you should have marked. The run you should have made. <laughs> Remember that shot you should have taken? Time to let it all go. Forget about it. It's time to go to work. This broadcast of the U.S. Youth Soccer National Championships is brought to you by AE Engine Media Marketing, AmericanEagle.com, Bag Tags, Bubba Burger, Cliff Kids, Dick Sporting Goods, Expand a Brand, Fusionetics. Major League Soccer, Nestle Nesquik, Nike, Positive Coaching Alliance, Premier International Tours, Soccer Shots, Sun Made Raisins, Target, Turbo Sports Group, United Soccer Coaches, Wilson Trophy Company, and Yokohama.
getting set for the second half between Beedling and PTFC. 1-1 one, one after the first 40 minutes. Both teams scoring goals off of set pieces. It's been a good all East Coast battle here. Beedling qualifying for the Nationals as the National League Red Runners up. Piedmont Triad FC coming through as the Southern Regional Champions. And contrasting fortunes on match day one as Beedling won four to one over FC United. For PTFC, it was a 5-0 loss against Las Vegas, so they're looking to get back on track, and they did have the opening goal, but they were pegged back on a header from Joseph Finegi. Coming to you at the U15 level in beautiful Frisco, Texas. At the Toyota Soccer Center, where all the fields here are in pristine condition. And then, of course, FC Dallas's Toyota Stadium completing it to the left. And the new U.S. Soccer Hall of Fame, which is coming along beautifully. It's the referee checking with his assistants to make sure they're ready to go. The final 40 minutes of match day two underway. Beat lead, looking to make inroads early on. And just running out of steam on the far side and real estate as well. So to be a goal kick for Guzman Valiente. And be taken by Diaz. Uh, thumps it into the opposition half. And headed back the other way. Elkridge working on speed sock. And for Irvin. Push forward. Sanders. There's Thomas out wide. Instead, Sanders elects to go at it alone. Looks to be a good decision. Sanders to the byline. Tried to pull it back for Elkridge, but Diaz positioning was spot on, and he sweeps it clear. Elkridge, DeFalco, into the cross. The chance at the top of the box, Irvin's shot was charged down. And Rivera. Ford for Robbins, brings it down on the chest. That's good shielding from Robbins. That's a chance to get forward, Robbins. Has Bruno Bernal, tried to slip him in, but shut it in the door was Mahar. Oh. Ortiz. And that throw in was illegal. That was DeFalco's throw in. DeFalco, quick throw in. For Fenegi, skips inside of Diaz. Still going Fenegi, this is Fenegi. His shot is blocked, Elkridge's shot also charged down. Thomas puts it across, Fenegi! It's two for Fenegi, it's two for Beedling, and they have the lead. Chase Thomas has been putting in dangerous crosses all morning. And this one, he got spot on. And Fenegi redirects it past Guzman Valiente. And from 0-1 down to 2-1 up, Beedling are now in the driver's seat. Mahar gets it away from Bruno Bernal. Does well to shield it and win it back as he gets by Panza. This is Bruno Bernal taking off and coming over and covers Fabian. Good header off of Muker. And Ortiz shows his strength to win the throw in. Hey, 
Bruno Bernal. And does well to spin. Robbins can't turn. This is Ortiz. He's quickly closed down. Great work from Elkridge, and he wins a free kick. It's Spisak being told to relax. He's on a yellow Spisak. DeFalco has plenty of green to gallop into. Skips by Ortiz. DeFalco wanted to have a go and just couldn't wrap his foot around the ball as he was looking for that far upper corner. So break and play is waiting for the ball to be sent back in in the 45th minute. Early strike to begin this second half from Beedling. Have them in front, two to one. Sanders steps in to win it. Good shielding from Sanders. Rides the double team. Sanders, good pass from Nick at the top of the box. Was trying to slip it inside for DeFalco. And then trying to shield it off was Muker. And he wins the goal kick. Well, Diaz has got a boot on him, doesn't he? Good skill from Ortiz. Muker in trouble. And the high pressure from Elkridge paying off. In for DeFalco. One by Muker. Smacked forward. Robbins. And he'll win the free kick. As Fabian was too tactile for the referee's liking. So Cesar Mendoza Ortiz wants to swing this one in. Diaz is up from the back. Five players to find inside the box. Another two camped out just outside of it. So it's a good ball in. And it's skying to get it clear was Mahar. Thomas on the far side, the architect of the last goal. Forward for Fenegi, who's on a hat trick. Fenegi cuts inside one. Fenegi, still going Fenegi. Fenegi cleared away at the last second. Good last ditch defending, but Beedling still on the front foot as Ortiz wins it back. Muker. And very good shielding by Panza. Panza quickly throws it in. Stepped in by Ortiz. Sanders into the middle for Elkridge. Thomas shaping up on the far side. Squares up to O'Hara. Thomas looking to run. Trying to get to the byline. And O'Hara won't let him, but it's at the expense of a corner kick. Speedling knocking on the door, looking for a third. So now a change is Muker is going to check out for PTFC. Corner kick in, doesn't beat the first defender. O'Hara hooks it clear. And now the break could be on. Rivera flying for the ball. Leaves it off for Bruno Bernal. Has a step on Fabian. This is Bruno Bernal. They're level. Bruno Bernal, coast to coast, has tied this game at two. A tremendous solo effort from Julian Bruno Bernal. And it's game on once again in Frisco.
Two goals inside the first nine minutes of the second half. More end-to-end -end action here between PTFC and Beadling. And it was a calm finish into the far quarter. So many players always go for power. Bruno Bernal went, knew when to go for precision. Irvin has a crack, and Guzman Valiente gets down well. This time it's Stets who will be whistled for the foul. Ortiz wants to take it quickly. That's very smart from Ortiz. He gets it out wide for Coles. Coles unable to catch Getsy at his near post. Spisak just unable to find the return ball. Bruno Bernal, oh he smartly lets it run, but it'll be cleared away by Panza. This one off the back of Fenegi. Well, the assistant referee says it's gonna be Beatling's ball. Check two! I got two, bro. Look at Chad. Joe, get in. DeFalco. Oh, lovely one two with Irvin. DeFalco's cross. Get it away. Elkridge, top of the box. This is still Elkridge. He's unable to weave through. A good sliding challenge from Mahar. Out wide for DeFalco. Looking to run at Hernandez Mortimer. DeFalco got inside of him but showed too much of the ball. Anthony, come on. And the clearance made by Swift. Robbins bumped off the ball. And the foul will be called against Panza. So is Diaz to take this free kick, and with his boot, you could expect him to maybe shoot from here. It's a good idea getting it to the far side, but it's one back by Sanders. Rolled for DeFalco, picks his head up. Unable to skip inside of Hernandez Mortimer. Sanders, the sliding challenge from Rivera. Diaz is there to mop up for PTFC. Rivera has found a bit of an opening. Able to get by Stets on the far side. It was off of Rivera last. And now Rivera is going to go down. He does have his leg heavily bandaged. Don't know if that's what the problem is. Never want to speculate. I hope that Rivera is okay as he's been the heart of this PTFC attack. So we have a stoppage of play in the 53rd minute. It's good to see that Rivera is up and is all right. Chance for some players on the far side to get water for both teams. PTFC not only getting water, but some instruction from their head coach, Christopher Day. O'Hara Smith's get back in. Mahar heads it out wide and Getsy was calling for it.
Bruno Bernal. Score of the game's tying goal. Oh, that's a lovely ball to the top. A good turn from Spisak. Diaz. Steps around Thomas. Still going Diaz. Diaz trying to put it in. That's blocked. Good job from Elkridge to not allow the cross in from Diaz. And it'll be a throw in on the far side for Beedling. That one over the head of Diaz. Fonegi. And O'Hara gets back, sweeps it off his foot, and gets it back to the keeper. Guzman Valiente clears it one time into the center for Ortiz. A strong challenge coming in, and it's opened up the space for Irvin. Fonegi asking for it. Irvin takes the space, Fonegi barricaded, and then just unable to pick out the upper corner. Well, Fonegi might not have gotten the ball, but it was his run that opened up the space for Irvin to carve out that opportunity. And it was a good idea from Irvin in the end, just couldn't get a shot on frame. And it remains two to two on match day two here at the U15 level. That went over Ortiz. A good move from Irvin. Irvin thinks about it, steps into it, and flashes it wide. Negi, able to get by Swift. Can't get past Diaz, now he does. And he's bought to ground and wins a free kick. And that'll be a yellow card for Diaz. So it'll be a free kick for DeFalco. Now the question is, is DeFalco going to curl this into the mix or is he going to go directly on goal? DeFalco delightfully curled to the back post and the header is over. Oh, what a free kick that was from DeFalco. Perfect weight and trajectory on that ball in. They just couldn't get the header down. So the goal kick for Guzman Valiente. 58th minute. Flicked on. And Diaz is over in cover. So it'll be a throw for Mahar. Robbins turns, picks his head up. Forward for Bruno Bernal. Good job to chase it down, but over is Panza. Panza doing a good job to shield and gets it out wide. Bruno Bernal sliding and he'll be whistled for the foul. Been really impressed with not only the speed and the strength, but the skill of Julian Bruno Bernal. But Panza did really well to shield him off there.
Panzer's free kick in the 59th minute. Fonegi pops it over for Elkridge. Over for Thomas. Elkridge continued his run out wide. Now he's going to send it in. It's over the head of Fonegi. DeFalco late in arriving. Hernandez Mortimore skips by him. Stepping in to win it on the far side of Stets. Elkridge clips it in, looking for the head of Fenegi. The offside flag is up. So it'll be a free kick for Piedmont Triad. And we will have the water break at the midway point of this second half. At the halfway point of the second half, it's 2-2 two to two between Piedmont Triad FC and Beedling. We're going to step aside. We'll be back with you for the final 20 minutes from Frisco. Coming out of the water break for the final 20 minutes plus stoppage time that will be added on at the end of this one. 2-2 two -two between Piedmont Triad and Beedling. This all East Coast battle coming down to the wire. And it will be a free kick for Diaz as right before the water break the last action was an offside. The smack forward. Stet steps in to win it. Forward for Irvin. DeFalco on the far side as Thomas has come off, which means Douglas is on the near. And that's tremendous one-on-one -on -one defending from Alvaro Diaz. Rivera steps in to win it. That ball looking through for Douglas. He's taken off, play ball, play ball, play ball. and Hernandez Mortimer gets back in time, and Douglas will be whistled for the foul. So it'll be a free kick for Hernandez Mortimer. So we're in the 68th minute of play. The header won by Elkridge. Irvin. 
It's all a bit tight, need to find an outlet ball. Rivera comes away with it. Gets it out wide for Coles. Was unable to step inside of Fabian. Oh, and that's a heavy challenge from behind, but a fair one, says the referee. So it's just gonna be a throw in for DeFalco. Diaz wanted a handball, he's not gonna get it. Ortiz overtakes. Smacked away by O'Hara on the far side. Over the top for Bruno Bernal. As Hernandez Morty Moore in support. Bruno Bernal wants to run. Gets inside of Mahar, plays it to the back post, over hit it, and it will be a goal kick. Coles was making the run, but he just put it on too much mustard on that one. And now we're gonna have changes. And O'Hara is down as well. I believe it's cramping. It's a very hot day here in Frisco. And right away, Guzman Valiente out to help stretch out O'Hara. It's good to see that O'Hara's okay. So this will be a goal kick. Played into Irving, one back by Spisak. Spisak wins the header. Battling with DeFalco, is able to get it back. O'Hara pokes it forward. Ortiz has been really impressive in the center of the park for PTFC. Forward for Douglas in a battle with Hernandez Mortimore. And it's Hernandez Mortimore wins out, spins past Douglas, and he goes down under the challenge of Douglas. This will be a free kick, be taken by Caleb Britt. Britt waiting for Diaz to get forward from his center back position. Now that Diaz is stationed, he'll go. Britt curls it in. Oh, that's a lovely cross right onto the penalty spot. A Getze comes out to make the catch. Getze with a booming punt. One by O'Hara. Into the middle. Ortiz quickly closed down. He's able to ride the challenge. A steps inside of DeFalco. And the offside flag is up, so this one will come back and be a free kick for Beedling. As Robbins came back from an offside position. Long ball forward. Finigi chasing. Popped away by O'Hara. Space for Spisak to run. Trying to slide it through for Bruno Bernal, but the passing lane was shut down by Mahar. Oh, that was a punch. Oh, Ortiz was just running by and put out his hand and hit him in the face. And this could be real trouble for Ortiz if the assistant referee spotted it. The 
referee calling everyone away while he has a word with his assistant. Not sure what Ortiz was thinking there. It'll be interesting to see what happens. And now Irvin being called over. Wow, I don't believe that. I do not believe that. And so it'll be a drop ball for PTFC. And now things really getting contentious. It's neither player letting the ball hit the ground. And once again. I'm not even sure that one touched the ground. The play's back underway. Well, that's what's on the line. Elkridge gets it out wide. DeFalco. Both players go down and DeFalco will be whistled for the call in the box. And so Hera cramping up once again. So it's already 92 degrees. Here, even though it's early morning in Frisco, Texas. Uh, it's summer day and Falco struggling just a little bit, but he gets up. Good to see that he's all right. So both players are good to go. Diaz will take the free kick. Skips off of Douglas. Hernandez Mortimore has Bruno Bernal to his left and he uses him. But Bruno Bernal held up his run. So Panza will come over and make the clearance. Intercepted by Hernandez Mortimore. Forward for Robbins. Played to the top of the box. That's a lovely spin from Rivera. He'll leave it off for Ortiz. Ortiz's shot charged down. A flying block coming in from Irvin. Ortiz touches it forward. Fabian, will you safety valve as keeper? It's too tight of a ball back. It's Robbins. Three to two. The back pass not played with enough weight. Ed Robbins was there to pounce. Inside the final 10 minutes, PTFC have come from a goal down to retake the lead. Elkridge. What will the response be from Beedling? Thomas. Launched into the box, looking for Fenegi. Can he complete his hat trick? And it's hooked clear. Sent back in. Douglas trying to turn. Able to get around Bruno Bernal. Does well to get back and make the sliding chance. Will be a throw in though. Sprinting up quickly to take it is pussed over. Back. Sanders pumps it into the box. Second opportunity. It's cleared away from Diaz before Elkridge could get to it. And now there are bodies in the box, and the referee is going to stop the play.
Diaz is down, has rolled off the field. And now Guzman Valiente is getting into it with Sanders. And a good job by Luke Swift to come over and try and push him away. And Guzman Valiente will not leave Sanders alone and finally he is pulled. And O'Hara, I believe it's him. Well, Diaz is still down. Not sure why nobody's come out to check on Diaz. But meanwhile, Spisak is trying to hop off on the near side. And so in the 75th minute, now they're calling for trainers. Not sure what happened to Diaz in the box. I hope that Diaz is all right. Who's been sensational at both ends of the field today, Diaz. It's good to see that Diaz is up and walking. At the opening goal of the game, Alvaro Diaz, Merorokoy. Now we already had some stoppage time added on for the hydration break. We've had about two or three minutes here as well. Could very well be five minutes at the end of the 80. So we're into the final four. So Britt is coming over to take the drop ball on the far side for PTFC. It's going to be Britt and Saunders. Bruno Bernal able to get it clear. And one back on the far side. Uh, the space is opened up. Can they hit him on the break? PTFC going forward. Rivera tried to let it run through for Robbins. This is Robbins. As it stands, has the game winning goal. Rides the challenge of Elkridge. Able to slip it inside for Rivera. Rivera cuts back, still dancing on the ball, Rivera. Slides it through for Robbins and goes down at the top of the box. It'll be a free kick for Jair Rivera. Now can Rivera polish this game off? It's a four-man wall for AJ Getze. It's Rivera. Oh, so close. Inside the final two minutes of regulation. Plus whatever stoppage time will be added on at the end. Diaz pumps it forward. And Elkridge wins the free kick on the far side. Good work by Austin Marmel to keep that ball in. Now another player cramping up. Hydrate your 
And clipped in for Negi! It's still bouncing around in the box. Oh, what a save that was from Guzman Valiente. And they weren't able to stick in the rebound. And now it's going to be a goal kick. The substitutions made for both sides. And there'll be five minutes of stoppage time. Five minutes for Beedling to find the equalizer. Five minutes for PTFC to get their first win of the national championships. Douglas gets by Hernandez Mortimore, puts in the cross, and it's slept clear by Swift. And the clearance is missed. The second one, smack downfield. Rivera chasing on the far side, will not get to it. Bruno Bernal, it's a two on two if they can hurry. This is Robbins. Robbins, onto his left foot. Robbins ices the game for PTFC. All three points are gonna head back to North Carolina. And this may be the game, depending on the other result between Las Vegas and FC United, that blows this group wide open heading into the final match day. Uh, going forward and winning the free kick is Sanders. And Caleb Britt goes into the referee's book. Now Sanders being called over, and he's going to get a yellow. Ken Irvin pull one back via the set piece. Irvin flights it in, and the header just missing. So this will be a goal kick as we're into the third minute of stoppage time. Well, coming up next here on field four, we'll have U18 girls match between Campton United and Sunrise Sting. A still time in this one. So it's played for Bruno Bernal. Panza misses with the challenge. Bruno Bernal squares it. Rivera helps it on, and Pants can't find the back of the net. So unselfish from Rivera to get that over for Pask. And now the goal kick is cleared right to Bruno Bernal, and he's going to go forward again. Bruno Bernal can't be gets at his near post. Pask flying in. And that should be a free kick, if anything. Both players had every right to go for it. Pask was going up. But in the end, keepers do need to be protected. It was very gutsy from Getsy to go up for that ball and get it away from Pask, who otherwise would have had a free header at the back post. As Diaz comes out, for the final minutes, he's been a titan at the back for this PTFC side. A big reason they're going to take all three points was the number three for PTFC. Now flying forward is Marmol. Turning, able to get the cross off, but it's cleared away by Luke Swift. Pass trying to help it on. Marmol wins that header over Caleb Britt. Irvin. 
Trying to spin back. Has his feet taken out from underneath him. So it'll be a free kick. It should be a direct shot on goal. Oh, that is world class. Irvin pulls one back. It might be too little too late, but that is certainly one for the highlight reel. Gorgeous placed free kick into the top upper corner from Irvin. Four to three, and if ever there was a consolation goal, that was it, and that is the last action of the match. PTFC get their first win as they get back from 3-2 down to win, or from 2-1 down to win 4-2 in what has been a really exciting match here. So both teams 1-1 one one heading into the final match day and we wish them all the very best tomorrow. Minor coming up next, a girls U18 game, but for now this one finishes PTFC 4, Beedling 2.